So in this video, I'm going to give you five good things to know about the Galaxy Note 5. Let's first start off with the improved build quality with the Note 5. So previously, Samsung usually with the Galaxy Note series went in a different design pattern than they do with the Galaxy S series. But in the case with the Note 5, they definitely took elements of the Galaxy S6 and applied it here. So that means you're getting a metal and glass design and body, that premium feel, that premium look, that sort of that fashion statement look, which I think a lot of Note users are going to really like and kind of want to have. But it does sacrifice a few things. It does sacrifice the micro SD card slot and the removable battery two staple features with the Galaxy Note, but it really depends upon what type of user you are, if you really care about that or you don't. In my case, I'm okay with it not being there, and I think it's it's gonna be okay for now. You never know, they might bring it back in future devices, but I really do like that the build quality with it has a nice curved back with it as well too. It's still a little bit slick and slippery, but I think overall, this nice premium feel is something that a lot of Note fans are really going to enjoy. The second good thing to know about the Galaxy Note 5 is the improvements with the S Pen. So one of the cool things they added with the S Pen is if you look at the bottom of the Note 5, the S Pen sits flush inside of the, the hardware design. It doesn't look like there's a slot to kind of pull it out. So how do you get it out? It's pretty simple. All you need to do is sort of press at the bottom of the S Pen and it clicks out. So it's like a little eject button. When you pull it out, it kind of feels like a pen, a clickable pen. So you kind of click down on it. It has a much more natural feel with it. And it's kind of fun. There isn't any other added functionality with the clicking on the top of it there, but it's pretty cool. The S Pen itself actually feels a little bit more sturdier, a little bit better. It's still plastic, but it feels a lot nicer. And it's, it's obviously, I love to have build quality improvements with that. Now, the other thing that they added with the S Pen in terms of features, one of the ones I think is really cool is the ability to take notes when the screen is off. So if you really need to pull out the phone to jot down a quick note, you basically pull the phone out, you slide the S Pen out, and you start writing on the screen. And the screen will take the note right there for you, and you can add that or save it for later for whenever you need to to handle it or take care of it there. And I think it's pretty cool. So take a look at how this works and plus a few other extra items that Samsung is sort of demoing for us here that they've added with the S Pen. And a lot of these features, I think a lot of new users are definitely gonna like. And it's really cool because you don't have to do anything. It literally does it for you. And then when you're done with it, it populates for you and then you can even draw on it. So number three on good things to know about the Galaxy Note 5 is the improved camera. So it's still a 16 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization, but they've also added VDIS, which is gonna help with video stabilization as well too, paired with OIS. And that's really important for the other feature they added with this, which is being able to broadcast live stream right from your Galaxy Note 5 to YouTube. So YouTube live streaming is built right into the phone, which I think is a pretty cool feature. Since I'm a YouTuber, I'm really excited to use this. It's very similar to what you see out there with Periscope, but being able to connect with you guys out there uh, right on a YouTube channel, it's really going to be a really cool thing to be able to do, and I can't wait to test that out. And obviously, Samsung's uh, Galaxy Note cameras are usually the best in class and top in terms of Android cameras and smartphones in general. So I'm really looking forward to really getting use of this camera, and especially the live streaming as well, too. And I think that's a pretty exciting feature. I think a lot of people will like, especially the YouTubers out there. Number four on good things to know about the Galaxy Note 5 is that while we've had fast charging and we've had wireless charging, now we have fast wireless charging built into the Galaxy Note 5. It's pretty cool to be able to have that ability. Wireless charging for me was always a slow process, something I really wasn't excited to do, especially when I had a wired charger that was charging faster. But now with fast wireless charging, they expected you to be able to recharge the Note 5, which has a 3000 milliamp hour battery and about two hours through the wireless charging pad. That's a pretty cool feature to have. And I think that's gonna get a lot more people to want to buy fast wireless chargers obviously they want you to buy more accessories here with this so being able to buy a few of these pods out there I think it's gonna be a pretty cool thing to have especially with it being wireless 
I think that's a pretty nice thing to have and I think it's a feature a lot of people will like. So number five on five good things to know about the Galaxy Note 5 is Samsung Pay. So Samsung Pay finally has a release date here, which is September 28th. Now that feature is pretty cool. Not only does it support NFC payments, which we've seen on various other devices, but it also supports MST payments. Basically, it's gonna be able to support bringing your phone over to that magnetic, magnetic strip where you normally swipe your card and be able to make the payment as well too. As you can see here in the demo, you basically swipe up from the lock screen, brings up your cards, and then you use your fingerprint to unlock it on the fingerprint sensor on the front of it. And you just put your phone right next to the card reader and boom, you already made your payment. So having the ability to support MST and NFC makes it one of the most compatible payment systems out there for Samsung, which they have a bunch of different banks and payment services already on board here. And I'm really excited to see how well this really works out with that much compatibility. I think a lot of people really might get into using mobile payments finally. So with the release date of August 21st here in the United States, Samsung has really packed out a great device here with the Galaxy Note 5. It's coming with a 5.7 inch Quad HD display, four gigabytes of RAM, an Exynos processor inside of it, 32 and 64 gigabytes of storage, 3000 milliamp hour battery built into it. You have Wi-Fi, you have all sort of LTE connections inside of it. It's really coming out to be a very powerful device. What we really expect from the Note line, that powerhouse of a smartphone. So I'm really excited for it. I'm really, I really wanna know how well the battery life is gonna work with a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Really excited to see YouTube streaming, how well the live streaming works. I want to see how well that four gigabytes of RAM works in terms of how snappy the phone is. So far, when sort of navigating the UI, it's been pretty smooth in the latest version of Touch with it using, which is based on Android 5.1 Lollipop. So that's been pretty interesting so far with it. But I'm really excited to get my hands on this and cannot wait for it. So definitely stay tuned for our review here coming up real soon. In the meantime, this is Bowmaner from BW1, and I want to thank you for watching. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.